Hi, my name is Jen, and today we're looking at downward facing dog using a yoga strap off of a doorknob to create a little bit of traction and axial elongation. We'll also be using a chair for underneath our hands. For your downward dog in the yoga belt, you'll want to make sure that you have a belt that is longer than six feet. So I'm using a 12 foot belt. And you will also wanna make sure that you're using a Puna belt or an India belt that has a square closure as opposed to something plastic or a D-ring that could break or slip. To measure the loop, you will find a place where when you step in it, the belt is just say an inch or so below your frontal hip point. So that's how big of a circle you need. And then you will take the belt over the top of both doorknobs and underneath. Then you'll want to come into your belt. So it's usually safest to bring the belt over the top of your head. And then you can double check to make sure it's still on both doorknobs. You'll step forward and place the belt into your hip crease. And then from here, stand nice and tall. Make sure your toes are matched on e both sides of the center line. And you'll crease at the hips and come into your half forward fold with your hands under your shoulders. Then from here, you're placing weight into the belt and you're gonna to start to walk your feet back. And you'll also start, start to scoot the chair forward. It really means you have to trust the belt, you're putting weight into it. And then I like to place the whole palm onto the seat of the chair. I try to have my four fingers together and my thumb apart like I'm wearing mittens. And you're just finding as much length through the spine as possible. You're also finding length through the side body as well. A few things to note is that we really want to stay neutral through the neck. So you don't want to be up like this with a short neck in the back. And you also don't want to let your head fall through your arms. That can be really hard on your shoulder girdle. So I am pressing the hands down into the chair and you're reaching the fingers forward while you draw the arm bones back into the shoulder socket. Now, if you have some trouble with your shoulders, another option is to bring the chair under you to fold the arms. And I would probably wanna place a blanket so that I could rest my forehead on the blanket. And this is sometimes, um, a little bit easier on the shoulder girdle while still enabling us to get length through the spine. Now to come out, you'll bring the chair back underneath your shoulders, step your feet forward, find this half forward fold, nice and lengthened. If there's tightness in the backs of your legs, it's okay to have the knees soft. And you wanna stay here for a while because you were slightly inverted upside down and this helps us to avoid dizziness when we stand up. And then you'll place the hands on your waist, keeping weight into the belt. Press your feet down to come back up to standing. Nice and tall. And then you can step back and again, take the belt off over the top of your head. Thanks for joining me today. 
Once again, my name is Jen Gorman. I am a patient, advocate, and practitioner for people with spinal fusions, scoliosis, and other back care needs. If you'd like more information, you can find me at scoliosisandbackcare.com. Thanks so much.